Good morning. How many Christians will get to sneak by with a little bit of sin there and get into the kingdom? Today we're at Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 25 and 26. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will punish all who are circumcised with the uncircumcised, Egypt, Judah, Edom, the people of Ammon, Moab, and all who are in the farthest corners who dwell in the wilderness. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. So it sounds like God is no respecter of persons. We might have heard that somewhere before. And so uh, all will be addressed with the same way of evaluating their behavior. Uh, unselfishness is unselfishness, whether it's done by a Philistine or by a Jew, whether it's done by a Christian or by a Catholic, whether it's done by uh, an atheist or a person with the most pious reputation. God is wanting us to be victorious. He stands ready to give us all the help, all the power we need. He says it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom. There's no excuse for sinning. And indeed, why would we want to? If we love somebody, why would we want to do something that would be destructive to them? Why would we want to do something that was in opposition to them? We don't want to do that. And so we want to go in where, where God is showing us to be unselfish, how to be more like Jesus. And so sinning is always kind of a self-indulgent piece. Now, we find here that uh, there's a concern here about the uncertain. Sin is still sin. Righteousness is still righteousness. And that applies to all of you. So he's telling them, we're all on the same basis here. I would love to help you and give you the help. Draw close to me. I'll give you the strength you need. I'll give you the victory. With, with your weakness combined with my strength, with your uh, faithlessness combined with my gift of faith, with your lack of wisdom combined with my wisdom, I'll give you everything you need. I'll give you the victory. Just ask, just ask. Just ask me for the victory. And God is glad, so glad to give you and I the victory we long to have. He's ready to give it right now, right today. Don't have to wait, no waiting, no standing in line. Don't have to sign up for it. He's ready to give us the victory. Let's be on his team. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, are you fair? Are you unjust? Do you give Christians secret passes, a secret hall pass for sin? No. Uh, instead, Lord, you help us to live up higher, live up above the sin. So, Lord, you please be our leader. Give us your strength, your help. We want to be on your team. We want to be right. Help us not to trust in, in this or that uh, thing that we might be trusting in, just as some of these Hebrews were trusting in the wrong things. Lord, help us to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ who died for us, and you accept his sacrifice. Lord, thank you for giving us uh, opportunity to have circumcised hearts through Jesus. Lord, change us and transform us. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, no one, no Christian, no nobody's going to sneak past God with some extra sinning. God wants us to have the victory, and he'll give it to you today. Plead for it. Plead for it with tears, if that's what it takes. He'll give it to you. God be with you today.